Charles Barkley has been everywhere. We saw the news that uh, uh, Amazon is going to get the uh, the NBA rights, uh, a massive, uh, massive deal with the NBA. Charles Barkley put out a statement on his Instagram uh, this morning. Uh, clearly, the NBA has wanted to break up with us from the beginning. I'm not sure TNT ever had a chance. TNT matched the money, but the league knows Amazon and these tech companies are the only ones willing to pay for the rights. When they double in the future, the NBA didn't want to piss them off. Charles goes on, it's a sad day when owners and commissioners choose money over the fans. It just sucks. I just want to thank everyone who's been at Turner for the last 24 years. They're the best people and the most talented, and they deserve better. I also want to thank the NBA and its fans, the best fans in sports. We're going to give you everything we have next season. Mm -hmm. Charles was also on with DP today and said that he Mm -hmm. has already spoke to all three networks. Yeah, makes sense. And Warner Brothers Discovery filed a lawsuit against the NBA today, alleging that the league breached his contract by declining the matching offer. So. So this thing is potentially not over. Yes. Um, you know, my 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 opinion and just talking to people in our industry, Chris, because I'll include you in this, even though you're an actor, <laughs> um, you know, is um, is this is not completely over, over, over that if if there is some sort of, you know, lawyering that happens successfully on behalf of Warner Brothers, um, you know, Discovery. Uh, it's possible some games do still wind up um, in the in the Turner column, but not enough, I would think, to uh, merit uh, keeping together and the amount of money it would to keep together inside the NBA. And I- I've mentioned many times before that despite how terrific inside the NBA is and generationally brilliant, if not all time great it is, um, I'm sure Amazon wants to create their own way of doing things. And the same thing with NBC and the same thing with ESPN potentially reimagining what they're doing. So I don't, I, I mean, taking Barkley, if he wants to continue on right now, um, I know he said he was thinking of retiring. I can only imagine the amount of money that's being placed in front of him and how insane it is because Charles is one of one. I mean, and everybody wants to have a Charles in yeah. any sport. And he already I mean, has. And if, and if, yeah, his deal NFL with Turner right now is $210 million. Right. So any and any NFL uh, show would want to have somebody like Charles Barkley. Um, any I mean, you, you saw how ESPN was putting him on their set during the Stanley Cup playoffs. Yep. Right. I mean, and, and so anytime Charles wants to talk sports, uh, he can find a microphone if that's clearly what he wants to do. Um, and, you know, I, I just don't know if a deal can be made uh, at all between Warner Brothers Discovery and the NBA now that there's a lawsuit once you start suing a league. Um, there's really uh, very difficult ways to come back together. One would think, especially since, you know, the rumor in our world is that uh, the head of Warner Brothers Discovery kind of pissed off the NBA from jump. Um, so there's there's all of that. Yep. Um, I, so I, I don't know, obviously, the idea of, of keeping inside the NBA together and just saying to NBC, hire everybody. But I think Ernie's still under contract to Turner. Um, and I, I don't, I don't know if they would still do it in Atlanta. I, I, I don't know what the plans are on that front, but, uh, for sure. Um, if there are no filters on inside the NBA Ooh. next year, as Charles just, uh, opined on his Instagram, that's must see television. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to three Eastern for free. 